Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for being with me one more time. I am your host, Brian, and you are on the Brian T. Mary YouTube channel. So grateful for us to be together uh, one more time on this Memorial Weekend. We are together now. Let me make sure my headphones are on. All right, here we go. Here we go. Uh, we have a good one today. A very good one. I mean, I, I was I was prepared for this, boy, and tears are just rolling down my face, boy. This, this right here, man. This is crazy. This is crazy. Um, the name of this one is... Let me, let me make sure I can pronounce this correctly, because I had, I, 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 I had to research this. Ah, there we go, there we go, there we go. Yes, so the, the title of today's lesson is Remuneration. 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 Say it with me. Remuneration. 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 It's not a word you hear often, but but you're gonna know what it is after today. <laughs> Remuneration. 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 Oh, this. Ooh, oh, this. This is. Ooh, remuneration. Remuneration. Thank you, Lord. Remuneration. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. Remuneration. Thank you, God. Thank you. Remuneration. 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 Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Remuneration. So for for today's uh, Kingdom Prosperity session, we are doing uh, a short lesson, a short session rather, and the name of it is remuneration. And when I researched this word and researched this this process in terms of the scriptures, That, that, that thing had me in tears, man. The fact that it spoke to me so much just proves that's my word. That's my word, remuneration. And he gave that word to me that already existed, mind you. I, you know. <laughs> this is what he has given me to teach the body of Christ, man. Remuneration, boy. Remuneration. Remuneration. That is today's title of today's uh, Kingdom Prosperity Session. Remuneration. We are coming from uh, uh, Exodus chapter 12, verses 35 and 36. We, we will also have a, a couple of uh, supporting scriptures, but we're, we're not going to be long. But before we go any further, let's let, let's just jump right on in into uh, get the string off me. I don't know how string is on. We are going to jump right on into uh, prayer as we as we typically do. So we, we are going to do that now. Father, we want to say thank you, Lord. You are our Father. We are your children, Lord, because you made it that way. We thank you for choosing us way before we chose you, Lord. For, for you were not the one that was lost. We were. We didn't find... <laughs> we didn't found, find God. God found us. <laughs> we thank you for your love and kindness. We thank you for, for your plan of salvation, Lord, to duplicate this greatness that, 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 that you have in Jesus, Lord, and to put that greatness that's in him inside of all of us, Lord. And we thank you for this process called sanctification, Lord, for, for that is the process that, that, that we can move away from our sin nature, Lord, and move it into, in, into our, 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 
our kingdom principle of who we are supposed to be, supposed to be, which means which means it's already predetermined. It's just a mystery to us. We thank you, Lord, and we, and we bless your name, Father. Lord, I'm asking you, Lord, for strongholds to break over the, this word today, Lord, to empower us, Lord, to strengthen us, Lord, to guide us, Lord, and to have a better idea of who we are and who we're supposed to be and where we are supposed to be, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Remuneration. Exodus chapter 12, verse 35 and 36. Here we are. Short, short passage of scripture. And the children of Israel did according to the word of Moses. And they borrowed of the Egyptians jewels of silver, jewels of gold, and raiment. And the Lord gave the people favor in the sight of the Egyptians, so that they lent unto them such things as they required. And they spoiled the Egyptians. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. In verse 35, this concept have always this is a strong word but it's still true it always bothered me in verse 35 in verse 35 it says that the children of Israel did according to the word of Moses which was uh, prepare for the Passover as you know we're, we're not going through all of the plagues and and and, and all, all the everything that that, that it, it that it involves you can do that on your own because this platform is the kingdom prosperity session so we want to we want to zoom in in verses 35 and 36 so uh, I want to deal with this word borrow because for years that didn't make any sense number one God knew there was a coming back <laughs> as they were number two he know the mass majority of them were going to end up dying meaning the e Egyptians okay so this word borrow is misleading so Many things I've learned over the years is when you put the equation together and it still doesn't make sense, that means you're wrong. This word borrow is one of the things, it is an example of many things that I teach about. Because you have to keep in mind, we're reading the Bible as, as who we are. The mass majority of us watching this video are Americans. This word borrow is not, it is, it is a misconception of what we think it is. This word borrow does not mean, oh, as, as in, in contemporary terms, let me hold something and I, I, I give it back to you at, at, at a later time. <laughs> no, it's because if we go by that concept, that means God told a lie. And we know that's impossible. So something is not correct. So let's go into what this word uh, borrow means. As, as it were. All right. So coming from my uh, a, a, a not analysis here. In, in verse 35, the children of Israel borrowed of the Egyptians jewels of silver. When the, the, the Orientals uh, go to their sacred fe festivals, they always put on their best jewel, jewels. And, and the Israelites themselves thought that they were only going three days, which makes sense. is because God told them what it is they were, were, were going to do. But again, it's a misconception because I hear the words you're saying, but it doesn't quite make sense. I hear the words, but I don't grasp the understanding. So it's a it's a mess misrepresentation of a concept. We, we where we get the term 
a compound word misconception I missed it <laughs> you mean one thing I'm understanding something, something else and we're not on the same page to hold a feast unto the Lord and in these certain circumstances it would be easy for them to borrow what was necessary for a sacred festival fine if it if that is what it was but it wasn't again they they thought they was going on a three three-day journey and coming back to slavery yeah see notice how God has to prepare you <clears throat> excuse me to come out of slavery it has to start with your mentality it's like it's like being broke you think the answer to you being broke is, is money it's not <laughs> <laughs> if you had a healthy relationship with, with, with money, you would still have some. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Remember, we in, in particular, blacks, we are descendants of slaves. So, so because our ancestry in, in this country, rather, uh, because we weren't known for holding on to money generationally, we were very we were very loose with it as we are to today. We will spend our rent money on shopping and then beg for rent money, which is in insane. Because that's where the term "will work for food" come from. It is it is it is a, a early American term. Referring back to uh, slavery, because we uh, we buy what we want and we beg for what what we need. That's the mentality of a slave. Yeah, when you have any compensation on any level, what is your relationship with that con uh, con conversation? Do you honor it? Do you use it to as a protection around bad circumstances? You know, being homeless is a uh, that's that's not good. That is not a blessing from God. <laughs> you want to look rich, but you're getting an eviction notice. What's 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 really going on? What's really going on? <laughs> You, you want to travel, but you're not sure your lights are still going to be on when you come back. What's really going on? This is crazy. Where do we get this from? This is, this is in our blood to mismanage money. It's in our blood to mismanage money. Why? Because we were never used to having any. That's why. Because we go for the short term uh, satisfaction instead of the long term thinking. That's why the slave master or the field owner always benefited off of the sharecropper. Always. Because it, it was just an updated version of slavery. Why? Because the slave never understood what it is he needed to understand. Amen. Well, your, your, your first response is, well, no one taught me. That may be true. But it's still your responsibility to find out. Yes. What a very uh, interesting task to find out what you don't know. How can you find out what, what, what you don't know? All, a, a question is always more powerful than a answer. And this is why an answer will cause you to stop thinking, but a question will haunt you. A question will haunt you. You will always have a question. The question will always stay in your spirit because it will keep you to keep thinking. And that is what I want my sisters and brothers today to do to keep thinking not just think keep thinking the most powerful thing about Kobe Bryant was it was his power of curiosity oh 
that's why he was the the, 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 the best of us what best of blacks no best of mankind <laughs> he was the best of mankind that brother utilized more brain cells that they, that that the majority of us don't even realize that that that, that we're using. Uh, Specialists say we're, we're we're typically using about two percent of our brain cells. Then the person who used every last brain cell is Jesus. He, I mean. You are looking for a miracle to change your life. No, use your brain. Ask your questions. And when, when you ask the questions, it's going to come to another question. And when people see you are hungry for answers, you will be amazed how answers start coming from everywhere. Everywhere. You need more questions to uh, protect you from other answers because what if someone sends you on, on the wrong path? Okay? See, part of slavery is mentality. The slave master did not want a thinking slave. The slave master punished a slave that thought. That's why they kept books away from you. They, they, they gave you what scriptures they wanted you to, to, to understand, which, which regarded to slavery. <laughs> and they never told you where the water was and what what I mean by water I mean the river or stream because that was a way of escape people will keep you locked in because you benefit them amen so circumstances would be easy for them to borrow what, what was necessary for a sacred uh, festival but but, but borrow conveys a wrong meaning the word render borrow signifies number one properly properly to ask number two demand and number three require that's what that's that's what the truthful definition of borrow means to properly ask which God told them to do demand which which what God told him to do. <laughs> and number three, require what God told him to do. But it wasn't much of any pushback. Let's let's walk this back. The mere fact that millions of Egyptians saw their entire economy crumble right before their eyes from darkness to locusts, which which involved way more than just locusts, to water turned to blood. I mean, the, the Egyptians were horrified of these people who was just coming slowly towards you. Hey, would you mind? Yes. Just name it. Yes. The Egyptians were mortified because even though Pharaoh refused to see it, God was on the side of the Israelites. This is prosperity. When God is on your side. God is on your side. And he tells you what to do. And you do it. Without a delayed reaction. Prosperity is soon to come. Delayed reaction. Delayed obedience is disobedience. I need you to, to understand that. I, I, I understand that. I understand. The, the Lord taught me something years ago. I was walking from the bus stop maybe 10, 11 years ago. Which I, I was very known for, for, for doing uh, at, at the time. He told me, I, I was walking on a Sunday. It was a Sunday during the day. It was not a person outside not a person outside the Lord told me specifically pray for the next 10 people you see and I said Lord I'm out here by myself what are you, what are you talk, talking about the next 10 people there, there will be no 10 people within the next 10 minutes 
a church on my right hand side and a church on my left hand side both churches let out at the same time in a matter of seconds it was hundreds of people outside and I refused the Lord yes the one who knows everything I refused the Lord because it didn't make sense to me y'all do you ever want to take a moment and think about the blessings you have missed out on because you were too smart for your own good So God told them to ask, demand, require. That's what borrow means. And the Israelites had been kept in great poverty. Does this sound familiar? A people of color kept in great poverty for 400 to 430 years. Does that sound familiar? Having received little or no wages. Does that sound familiar? They now insisted on re, re, remuneration for all their labor. Say after me, all their labor. See, someone's watching this video right now and thinking about earning money. Let me tell you, that's great. But you have no idea how much is owed to you from this country. It's owed to you. It is owed to you. It is owed to you. It is owed to you. And it was paid in light in valuable articles adapted by by the convenient carriage. They had they had the means to carry out all that was owed to them. Because it doesn't matter if you're owed. 200 million dollars but is in gold bars and all you have is a plastic bag and, and nothing else <laughs> how, how, how are you going to move it how, how are you going to move it no no the Lord set that situation up and it worked because they worked it listen to what I just said it worked because they worked it what it is that needs to be done God is not doing for you you need you need to be more curious and you need to be more involved the same God last week we taught on the wealth transfer and I know that's very unpopular but let me tell you this is for you if you believe it if you don't believe it it's not for you because the last thing we got time to do is convince people no <laughs> no you are owed back labor for the past four to six generations being in this country. Depending on how, how, how old you are now, you are owed back labor for, for, for the past four to six. See, you were impressed by 40 acres and, and, and a mule. And, and, and a mule. That's lowballing you. No. That's lowballing you. No, no, no. Remuneration. Notice the prefix fix, re, which means you need to be paid again. At some point, there was payment. Then there was a stoppage. Now it needs to be repaid. And see, this really can't connect until, until we identify who the, the, the Israelites are. Because who the Israelites were not were white people in Egypt. That's insane. But I know everyone is trying to convince you of that. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. We, uh, you, you know, there's a secret that there were people of color in the Bible. The Bible is like 90% 90, 90 people of color. What are you talking about? No, this is you. This is you. This is you. This is you. No, no, no one is, is trying to disparage our, our white bro brothers and sisters. But we are way past time to, to call it for what it is. This is you. This back payment from this country is is entitled to you. But you have got to believe it, and you have got to obey. Remuneration. Remuneration.
Amen. Amen. This is for you. So the children of Israel did according in verse 35, the children of Israel did according to, to the word of Moses, and they borrowed of the Egyptians jewels of silver and jewels of gold and raiment. And, and, and in closing, the Lord gave the people favor in the sight. There was there was no ooh, there was no contention. There was no contention. I was moving out of some, someone's house years ago. Ooh. I was trying to take a pot I believe I was mine. A pot. A pot. They act like I was trying to take a family heirloom. They was very contentious. And, 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 and let me tell you, we never forget stuff like that. I believe the pot was mine. They believed the pot was theirs. The pot was no bigger than to boil a, a, a pack of oodles and noodles in. But they act like I was robbing them. We don't forget stuff like that. They they was they was ready to be triggered over a pot. <laughs> I paid my rent. I paid all the all, all, all the bills that, that that I was responsible for, and they treated me like a Hebrew slave. Absolutely, absolutely. I, we never forget stuff like that. We never forget stuff. So when the word remuneration comes. And it speaks to your spirit. All these stories come flooding back to your mind where you knew something was entitled to you, but you didn't get it. Yeah. 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 And I'm just talking about a pot. I'm not talking as of yet an inheritance. <laughs> Several paychecks. A settlement, a a a an a, a, a uh, apology. <laughs> ooh, ooh! It it costs people nothing to screw you over. It costs people nothing, nothing to screw you over. But when when you get what is entitled to you. People act like you are robbing their soul. This is why they act that way. Because they held on to it for so long. They held on to it for so long. My grandmother went to Baltimore to start her, her she moved from North Carolina to Baltimore to start her new life. She started the, if you will, the second half of her family. This is where my father came. When she went back to North Carolina, because because she was traveling now, now keep keep, keep in mind, this is mid 1900s, <laughs> okay, her early to mid 1900s, okay. When she went back to North Carolina to get the rest of her children. Her parents told her no. Yeah. Her parents told her no. When you're trying to get your children back, her parents told her no. I want you to understand the things we are up against in this evil world. The world itself is evil. It's just the systems and, and, and the mentalities that come along with it that makes it seem like, like it's evil. We have stuff against us that we never really thought about. My grandmother got the rest of her children back. Amen. <laughs>
<laughs> she got the rest of her children. But 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 I want you to understand. Even the people you thought would never be against you, they will be against you. <laughs> they will be against you. Stuff, people, circumstances, stuff is owed to us. And the Lord is going to see fit that we get it. If we do not get it, it's not because God failed. It shall be paid to you. It shall be paid to your bloodline. Amen. Hence this conversation now. Our ancestors who have been enslaved, we deserve their payment. And this is what the Lord is going to do for us, for those who believe. Notice how faith, <laughs> faith is a, is a major part of this. In verse 36, the Lord gave the people favor in the sight of the Egyptians so that they lent. They, uh, see, <laughs> because we have a better understanding what borrow means, we understand what, what lent means. The lent simply means give. It simply means release. It, it, it doesn't mean, oh, we'll get it back later. No, no, no. <laughs> no, no. We don't even know if you're going to, to be alive. And unto them such things as they required. And they spoiled the Egyptians. Now, now what does spoil mean? Spoiled. Come. Spoiled is a is an old term. When, when one kingdom or village overtook another, they spoiled it, which means they sucked it dry. They took everything. I mean, I mean, I'm, I'm talking about everything. I, I'm, I, I'm talking about to, to, to give you a, a, a better understanding and a, and a shout out to Kevin Hart. If they spoiled you, that means they broke into... <laughs> <laughs> they broke into your your residence, and if they were petty, they took the backs of all of the women's earrings. <laughs> Meaning, after they got done, whatever was left didn't have a, a use for it. <laughs> like, what am I supposed to do with this doorknob when they took my door? <laughs> So I want you to understand. I want you to understand what how intense this word spoil is, because that's what the, the the Israelites did to the Egyptians. This is entitled to you remuneration. This is for you. This is for for you. Amen. Amen. Uh, quickly, I, I want want to re read this passage of scripture in Genesis fifteen and fourteen. Amen. Amen. I just want want this to uh, come up. Genesis fifteen fourteen. Genesis four and also that nation whom they shall serve, then future tense will I judge. Sorry, sorry, 13. And, and, and he said unto Abram, Know of a surety that thou seed shall be a stranger in a land that is not theirs, and they shall serve them, and they shall afflict them 400 years, us uh, Americans as well. And also that nation whom they shall serve will I judge, and afterward shall they come out with a great substance. This is for, for us. This I, I have no doubt in my mind. That the coronavirus played a huge role in this. I have no doubt in, in my mind. I can't trace it. I can't trace it. But it seems so obvious to me. Because something on a global uh, mass had to take place to throw everybody off. And we started paying attention to things that we wasn't uh, initially pay paying attention to. Now we're paying attention to a lot of things. 
I know I, I know people are, are, are ready to, to, to finally take take vacations all that stuff and, and, and that's fine but that does not mean stop paying attention amen in verse 14 and also in, in, in Genesis 15 verses 13 and 14 and also that nation whom they shall serve will I judge and afterwards shall they come out with great substance this is still us brothers and sisters this is a a uh, figurative Egypt we still have stuff owed to us amen Psalms 105 verse 37 Psalms 105 37 and he brought them forth also with silver and gold and there ooh, thank you Lord and there was not one feeble person among their tribes I will read it again Psalms 105 37 and he brought them forth also with silver and gold and there was not one feeble person among their, their tribes I want you to to, 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 to understand but remember the, the example I just gave what if 200 million dollars of, of gold bars is owed to you but all you have is a plastic bag that's not going to help you that verse is so powerful because number one God has thought everything through he has thought everything through. How can I have uh, one to two million people move silver, gold, raiment, jewels if 20% of them are sick? <laughs> so I want you to understand that in this remuneration, there is going to be a divine healing. Yes. A divine healing that is among us that has never even crossed our minds a divine healing the Bible says there, there was none feeble there was not one feeble person among the, the, their tribes what does this mean it's going to be supernatural strength that's going to come into our bodies it, it, it's it, it's it's going to be supernatural understanding coming into our minds supernatural stability coming into our emotions and let and 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 let me say something else about this divine healing if there's no feeble person among the tribes I want you to, to understand things is not all about business yeah if you're 80 years old and you've been afflicted for 20 30 40 years and you got divine healing yeah yeah if you got a divine healing your spouse got a divine healing yeah Ooh, it's going to be divine sexual intercourse among married people amen amen because you thinking God is all about business. He is not about, about business. He is about his purpose. <laughs> you are his children. He is going to bless you in ways that never ever even crossed your mind. With, with, when you start a new job or a career, it's called perks. This right here is a divine perk. <laughs> Say it with me a divine perk a perk. You're gonna get so blessed. You're gonna have perks that never even crossed your mind Perks you are going to get perks. You are going to be up in age having sex like you did when you was 20 <laughs> Amen perks Perks yes, 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 yes You are going to want your wife and your wife is going to want you. Amen Amen Amen. A divine purpose coming your way. Amen. Let me, let, let me move on to this last scripture. Ezekiel 39 10. <coughs> Excuse me. Ezekiel 39 10. And so that they shall take no wood out of the field, neither cut down any out of the force for they shall burn the weapons with fire and they shall spoil those that spoil them. It's going to see my, my my father always said years ago you gotta watch how you treat people 
because he that is on the bottom today may not be on the bottom tomorrow when God is involved anything is possible and this is what this country is about to see the Republicans the upper class everything is getting ready to be turned upside down and it's going to happen suddenly suddenly well how long is suddenly suddenly doesn't have a time <laughs> Suddenly, do you remember the moment you, you got saved? You don't. Do you remember the moment you got healed? You don't. That's how this is going to happen. This world, you think 2020, this world went crazy? Nah. We're going to, we're getting ready to see something we have never. We thought the civil rights movement was, was, was something. The civil rights movement was nothing compared to Black Lives Matter. We had we had whites defending us. We had we we had people overseas marching. What? I receive this this I receive it right now, Lord. I receive it right now, Lord, in the name of Jesus. I receive it in the name of Jesus right now. They shall spoil those that spoiled them. Rob those that robbed them. Saith the Lord God. Ezekiel 39.10 Amen. You don't have to apologize for being blessed. That's done. That is done. There, there, there's no more apologizing for being blessed. That's done. Amen and amen. I'm so grateful for, for this word. I'm so grateful for this word. I don't care if nobody believe this. I don't care. I'm getting what is owed to me. Amen. Amen. Father, we, we thank you and we bless you. We thank you and we bless you, Lord. You are a great and a mighty God. We, we will receive all that you have for us, Lord. What you have for us is something that hadn't even crossed our minds, Lord. But, but, but we're, we are tipped off through it by the Spirit. And we receive it right now in Jesus' name, Lord. Amen. Remuneration. Receive it right now in Jesus' name. Amen. Bye.